Hi everyone, and welcome back to Amanda TME, and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. It is clearly almost bedtime, but um, I thought maybe just a little bit, just a little bit of Strange Horticulture. So uh, I hope you have something cozy, and let's get back to the game. Let's check out our card. Okay, golden light. I thought last time we read something about a plant called golden light. It was a new one, right? And it's not new. No, Daisy Duck is the one we. Hmm. alphabet. Um, we can bell. There we go. A plant that is believed by many to lead to gold, you'll have about as much luck searching for the end of the rainbow. The soft frilled leaves can soothe insect bites and stings. It's also known as golden light and sometimes fool's hope. And it begins with the letter L. L and then Anna Cabella. Um, cup. Oh, okay. I can Cabella plant six. L six. Six? Isn't that what that was? Did I do it wrong? Okay. Unless I misread the letter at the top. The first letter of the Latin name, L. And we know there are six on I'm confused. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost always can say six. On a lucky one is seven. Oh, well, we need to remedy this immediately. Water all the plants. not paying attention to the entire statement. Let's go ahead. L seven. There we are. I amble through the meadowland, stopping every so often to examine any wildflowers that catch my eyes. Buttercups, daisies, cowlips, red clover, knapweed, cat's ear, and hidden among them something new for my collection. looks like foxglove. Bethany! It came for us. We were attacked in the night by the servant. In all my time in the forest, I've never experienced anything like what happened last night. The forest came alive and drove the beast away. Arduina saved us. It's the only explanation that makes any sense. The one thing is clear, we cannot do this alone, and we must not allow the servant to get its hands on what we're looking for on what it's looking for. I'm trusting you with this, a secret that the sisterhood has kept for hundreds of years, a tool to defeat the woken Dundru. Okay. 
keep it safe. Use it wisely. You'll know how to open it, of course. Guardian of the forest? Wait, um, yeah. it's not brimlock. Open any lock. I thought I saw it on the left page, but it occurs to me that um, the pages may have shifted. You can draw this fox button. Digestive. People have some tummy troubles around here. Um, amnesia. High pitch. Yeah. Locate lost things. Ornamental plant. Can be confused with kidney flower. Curing the heart. Slow and uncomprehending. With curses. Tell the truth. Memory. Uh, persuasiveness. More tummy troubles. Fairy treasure. Detect poison. Good fortune. Hearing. Insanity. Generally an unpleasant odor, relationships, wandering, luck. What am I missing? We learned something early on. Psychic abilities. Stomach pains, hypothermia, rashes, the afterlife. Maybe I'm just going too fast. Shielding, <sighs> dark magic. Here we go. Heart-shaped leaves. There we go. Um. 
follow the Dundian tributary to its source. First is the corpse's friend. The ankle grabber, the binder, the fear bringer to lift a curse and black blood's reverse. Okay. Now we got some research to do. The corpse's friend. Um, we're gonna scoot these guys down. Um, okay, we might actually need something at that tributary first. And then, yeah. The Dundian tributary. Ah. No, come on. Dundian. Okay, so we want to be up here by the hard knot. Oh, wait, no. Follow the Dundian tributary to its source. Maybe it's not a tributary. River Dundian is, oh, it must be this one. Okay. Well, while we're waiting, let's go ahead. The corpse's friend. And we're going to make a little I feel like we're just turning pages these days. Um, here, let's put this where we can see it. The ankle grabber, the binder. That's weird. Protects against the cold. Mana of rashes. The corpse's friend, the Kabbalia plant. We just had this, didn't we? No. Let's go this way. There we are, Kabalia. The third is the fear bringer. Because so I don't think we have the ankle grabber. Eye strain. This is a curse and not a blessing. Um, oh no, it's this one. This is the corpse's friend. It's the devil's nightcap. nightcap, a plant known colloquially as corpse's friend, and ingested as a seed, it will cause a slow, agonizing death. Um, boiling the root in vinegar, it creates a t um, smells like rhubarb. No. Rather unpleasant scent. Do we have anything that's like, smells like pond? Odor. Feel smooth and soft and neat. Long semen. Cervic odor. We just may not have some of these plants yet. Somewhat pungent. 
the flowers are blue. No, nothing. Okay, so. Corpse's friend, the ankle grabber. Wish I could put like a mark in the book. Black last a petal to secure the black blood's reverse. Hmm. Create um this one we have. Elder Finium. So that's one. All right, we know that one. To lift a curse. Adjusted problems, friendship. Here we go again. Hmm. Amnesia. Doesn't sound very lifting of the curse. Locating a person. Pain. Heart. Drain a person's mental faculties. Lesser Mary Doc. Tell the truth. Lift curses. Long vercoomed. Small leaves grow in pairs. Fox button. But we know it, so it can't be one of the ones down here. Long barracooned. Alright, well, we're getting somewhere. We don't have anything that smells like pine, do we? all these others we know. I've never seen this plant before, and here it's growing in abundance. Somewhat damp smell. It's not really what I was expecting. Okay. Well, let's see who else we can 
All right, well, we did that. Hey, it's David Cheaper. They're saying Sisterhood has been attacked. I don't know how much more um, the, the Seeds of Redemptions have gotten all excited about it. There's a bunch of them chanting outside Pullivers right now. Oh. Fox Field Trident. Well, I think we know what we're supposed to do here. Foxfield Trident. Alright, well, let's find Foxfield first. There we go. There's Foxfield. Alright. Maybe there. I think it's here. There we go. From Foxfield, the trident points me in the direction of some foothills northwest of the Swinside Stone Circle. A faint path leads me over a ridge into a dell. Here, a plant thrives, sheltered from the wind. Another, yet another purple flower. Bluish purple flowers. Nothing? Okay. Forest fair. I'm going to Blackcomb. I will kill the serpent. My people have been saying, he who lives without fear does not live without live at all. Oops, sorry. I will not say I'm not afraid, but it would be no bad thing to die hunting such a noble adversary. I will take Ember Soul. supposed to like widow's woe said to induce fear part also called kempfoot dainty flowers go from a bed of thin leaves hmm. allow me to present my services i own a small shop that specializes in curiosities I would have thought that someone in your position might um, ought to be interested in pursuing perusing our collection of manuscripts on elixirs, for example. Is it weird that I'm just like far inside? Well, <laughs> Hellbore. Is that what I just saw? Far inside. The dark exterior of Arnside Antiquities blends into the surroundings, a tailor called Jones and an ugly looking haberdashery, to the extent that I walk past it three times before I find it. Inside, however, I am greeted by a world of intrigue and wonder. Old trinkets sit alongside faded books and manuscripts while strange utensils and machines, their uses unfathomable, occupy rows of display cases. In some it's some time before I peel myself away, returning to Undermere with two new recipes for elixirs that demand further study. Hmm. Let's see. Let's put you away for now. Made from a combination of Arbutum alacrasis. These Latin words, this powerful elixir is dangerous and extreme caution is advised. It is said to bring a person back from the brink of death, but at the expense of their soul. Those who have drunk it appear vacant and lost, alive, but no longer really with us. Mm. 
This elixir will enable any drinker of it to overcome their sense of fear, though it should be considered beforehand that fear is not always a bad thing. For example, it would not be wise to drink this near the edge of a cliff. A five-pointed leaf to grant courage. That's the new plant. Red flower to protect the mind and a seed pod for luck. Okay. This one we can probably um, try out just because we have the Latin names. Um, assuming I'm not forgetful. Popular plant. There you are. And then Yeah, Daisy Duck, huh? Dranthium. Thought we saw this down here. We did. And then mm, that one. May not have discovered it yet, but. No, Okay. If so we haven't. Okay, we need to make another grouping. Fruit at the henchuck can have startling effects on memory. Even a small dose can result in short memory loss, but larger amounts have been known to cause severe amnesia. The tuberous bulb has an unusual structure, growing in bursts that give it a striped appearance when cut open. When the outer layer hardens and turns blue-green, it's ready to harvest. Okay, I think... Let's come back here. I think... This is Daisy Dog. But we'll use Hmm. Oh, it's because I spelled it incorrectly. Yeah, I don't think that maybe not. But the leaves look so... It's not Daisy Dog. Because I definitely spelled it wrong the first time. Okay. I think that's what that is. Alright. And then... Something with a bulb. Hen chuck. Something with a bulb. Hmm. The tuber's bulb has an unusual structure growing in bursts that give it a striped appearance when cut open. When the outer layer hardens and turns blue green. It is ready to harvest. Well, we have two contenders here. Okay. We'll know if it works. So, 
know, that means that okay, that's Henchuck. That's one way to discover a plant. of the damned. A red flower to protect the mind. Um, Saint John? No, it's hearing ability. Um, Bishop's parasol? I doubt it. Fungus. A red flower to protect the mind. like a seed pod to me. I mean, if we're wrong, what have we really lost? That's a more promising. a red fruit. So hmm. this could also just not be Daisy Dog. I think it is though. Hmm. It could be either. I honestly think that looks like a seed pod, but I think this glows white when it's right. Okay, well, I think I have mussed around too long. Also, this here may not be Daisy Dock. Okay, at least I can get rid of the labels. Hmm, we'll have to come back to this, but we're on our way. Wait, what's this? Did I have this right before? Oh, 
Okay, I remember this one. Okay. This one isn't too bad. I think I struggled with this a lot less. Um, oh, but it did get harder this time. Interesting. Oh, I need one that has a giant block at the back. A standalone block. Puzzle one sometimes just takes a while. Although now that I say that, this is taking a second too. So. You have this longer bit, shorter bit. Oh, it's this one. I was just going the wrong way. When notes and letters have been taken, it means you follow the, the clue on them, and they can be safely added to the archive to make space in your drawer. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, wheel. Let's just see. It's late, I should lock up. Okay. Alrighty, um, yeah. Let's see what our tarot card is. I don't know what these are. Endmore, Raven, Spider. Oh, that's right, because we can use two. I don't know what that just shows. Alrighty, back to the main menu. guys well we're making some progress we learned to make potions it's kind of cool yeah i hope you're enjoying the series as much as i am i'm having an absolute blast um yeah so take care guys and as always happy sipping <laughs>